The Titanoboa was once one of the largest and most lethal snakes to roam the Earth. Its extinction occurred around 55 million years ago, but imagine a world where it never went extinct. In this, what if, scenario, we explore how things might unfold. To truly understand the modern Titanoboa, we need to step back in time. 60 million years ago, this colossal serpent slithered through the tropical waters of South America. It arrived shortly after the dinosaurs vanished, filling a significant ecological role as a major predator. The Titanoboa was unfathomably enormous, with a girth of roughly 1 meter 3 feet, which meant that if it were slithering toward you, it would rise to your waist. It measured an impressive 14 to 15 meters, 45 to 50 feet, in length and weighed over 1,000 kilograms, 2,300 pounds. Fortunately, this giant snake wasn't venomous, but that doesn't mean it was harmless. Instead of using venom, it relied on its powerful constricting abilities to kill its prey. The Titanoboa would coil around its victim or compress its windpipe, suffocating it before swallowing it whole. If a potential meal tried to escape, it would face rows of sharp teeth that would latch on firmly. You might think you'd see this massive creature coming, but that wouldn't be the case. The Titanoboa's coloration allowed it to blend seamlessly into its swampy surroundings, making it nearly impossible to spot. It would lie in wait for the perfect moment to strike, primarily feeding on fish, turtles, and even crocodiles. But what ultimately led to its extinction? The primary factor was a drastic climate change. To understand how this happened, let's first dive into what made the Titanoboa such a fearsome predator, and then explore the environmental changes that led to its demise. After the dinosaurs went extinct, the Titanoboa filled the void left by apex predators. The warm, humid climate of the Earth over 60 million years ago was perfect for this cold-blooded creature, which thrived in those conditions. During this period, the average temperature hovered around 24 to 25 degrees Celsius, 75 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature most people would enjoy in the summer, but imagine living in those conditions year-round. Instead of ice caps, the poles were covered in forests, and creatures like alligators roamed the regions where polar bears once thrived. If humans had existed then, it would have been unbearable. But some animals, especially cold-blooded ones, flourished in the heat. The Titanoboa, being cold-blooded, thrived in this environment, absorbing heat from its surroundings to regulate its metabolism and fuel its hunting prowess. However, the Titanoboa's reign was not to last forever. As the climate shifted, the Earth experienced two dramatic temperature changes. First, the planet heated up and then cooled down. It remains unclear whether the Titanoboa's extinction happened during the warming phase or the cooling one, so let's examine both scenarios. Around 56 million years ago, Earth experienced an extreme heat event known as the paleocene eocene Thermal Maximum, PTM. This warming event caused a surge in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere, raising global temperatures by as much as 8 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. The seas became scalding, especially in the tropics, where temperatures reached a suffocating 38 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This warming led to a mass extinction of deep-sea organisms, particularly single-cell creatures like foraminifera. For the Titanoboa, this could have played out in two possible ways. On one hand, the warmth might have allowed it to grow even larger, feeding on a plentiful supply of fish, turtles, and crocodiles that could also have increased in size due to the heat. On the other hand, the warmer temperatures could have harmed the Titanoboa's food supply. As the oceans absorbed more carbon dioxide, they became more acidic, potentially wiping out many fish species the Titanoboa relied on for food. If this was the case, the Titanoboa would have been forced to adapt. To survive, the Titanoboa might have shifted from its aquatic habitat to land, where it could have started hunting larger land animals 
like mammals. The warming of Earth also led to a boom in mammalian evolution, with species like camels, horses, and giraffes emerging. If the Titanoboa adapted to a terrestrial lifestyle, it would have found plenty of new food sources. However, due to its massive size, it would have been challenging for it to live on land. To thrive in this new environment, the Titanoboa would need to develop stronger muscles for land movement. It may have also developed the ability to swim to the poles, where the warming temperatures had turned the ice caps into tropical regions, providing ample food in the form of crocodiles. After 200,000 years, the heat waves subsided, and the Earth returned to more typical conditions. But another major shift in the climate was approaching, a long-term cooling trend. Around 50 million years ago, temperatures began to drop, leading to the formation of ice caps at the poles. This cooling was bad news for the Titanoboa, which depended on warm environments to regulate its body temperature. In the cooler climate, the Titanoboa could no longer rely on the warmth of the environment, which likely led to its extinction around 55 million years ago. To survive in these cooler conditions, the Titanoboa would have had to undergo a drastic evolutionary change. It would need to become warm-blooded. 